We've been in Mostar now for a few days and we actually got here from Sarajevo on a train and this train ride has been dubbed as one of Europe's most beautiful train rides and it did not disappoint. This train left from Sarajevo and went through the mountains all the way into Mostar. We actually kind of traced along the river at part of the way, which was gorgeous view. And they told everyone to sit on the left side of the train if you want the most spectacular views. The only problem is when we got on the train, I said to James, we don't know what one is the left or the right, depending on what way the train is going. So we unfortunately didn't get the side that he had the huge majestic views that were kind of looking over the canyons but i was okay with that because half the time i was just praying our train was not going to fall off the side of the mountain but once we got past that point our side that we were sitting on actually had really nice views of the river and the mountains in the background so it really was truly a beautiful ride our Airbnb is located on the western side of the river, so let me show you what it looks like.
like I said, we have been in Mostar now for a few days and like everywhere, we spend most of our days during the, the working day hours at a coffee shop working. It's still really, really hot here in the 90s every day. So we tend to go find a coffee shop and do a little bit of work and then come back in the air conditioning and do our work where it's nice and cool and then head out again during the evenings. The coffee shop that we found here is actually the same chain that it was in Sarajevo. So it's kind of nice. We know the drinks that we can get there. We kind of have our regular favorites and we can sit, get our work done. But this, um, this one of the chain, this particular location is really beautiful because it's surrounded by stone walls and it's got kind of a canopy of leaves and plants and lots of fans going. So it does help a little bit with the heat. By far no history buff but I have looked up about the siege of Mostar which happened here between April 1994 and June of 1994 and there's still a lot of buildings here that have a lot of bullet holes or shrapnel marks uh, there's some buildings also that are just the shell that's left and it's really sad to think about the, the horrific things that happened here not that long ago. Coming here as a tourist, it really kind of opens your eyes to the realities of war. One of my favorite things to do, which I absolutely loved also in Sarajevo, is going into the bazaar area, the old town, and wandering around, seeing all the craftspeople that are there, all of the stuff that's for sale, the restaurants that are bustling with tourists and, and locals, and um, just experiencing that walking along the cobblestone streets although they are really tricky so if you're coming to Mostar make sure you bring appropriate footwear not flip-flops or anything like that because the cobblestones they're actually not really cobblestones it's more of a, a shiny polished stone and it really sticks out of the ground so it's very hard to walk on but well worth it in this area
as you're going through the old town in the bazaar, you actually come to the Mostar Bridge, which offers the most beautiful views around the city and into a lot of the mosques. experience here in Mostar in the evenings because at a certain time the call to prayer will start so a lot of the mosques in the area will start doing their calls and there kind of be three or four of them in, unis in unison doing their call to prayer and then on the other side of the river the church bells will start ringing so it's really kind of a neat unique experience. While I've been in Mostar, I have been practicing my crocheting skills. So if you had watched my previous videos, you know that I had gone in Sarajevo and bought a whole bunch of wool to play around with. And I have been on YouTube watching a whole bunch of tutorials and trying to learn. And so far I have made what was supposed to be a little um, carrying case for my phone, but I made it too small. So um, beginners, you know, let's call it beginner's mistake. So um, it's now a case for my glasses, which is fine because I needed that as well. I'm gonna try again though, but um, let me show you what I've created so far. got only a couple of days left here in Mostar so I'm gonna continue on with my crochet when we're hiding inside from the high temperatures and then uh, in the evenings we're gonna go out and have a couple of dinners we are also supposed to go and have a breakfast one morning which is supposed to be really spectacular it's a whole spread of a traditional Bosnian breakfast and it's right on the ledge of the river and you're um, also able to see the old bridge in the background. So I think that's going to be a really special occasion and something that I'm really looking forward to. So that has been our adventures in Mostar, Bosnia. 
Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to please like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps me to grow my channel, bring more content about travel and crafting and fashion and all sorts of fun, different things from around the world. And hope to see you next time. We are heading off in a day or two to Montenegro, our next destination. So we'll see you then. Take care. Thank you.